God, this is the third time I'm gonna be doing this. I'm so tired of of this my recorder. So uh, I've, uh, the next thing now is to import uh, our um, character. So I'm just gonna press Control O to sorry so to say. So um, look for my engine Kulebi. This is the engine Kulebi that we saved the other time. So I'm just gonna open these and don't say. So I think it's it's done. So if um, this is it, it's done. So the next thing now, I think this guy, this is my um, grid right here. <clears throat> Sorry, but this guy right here is too big, so I need to just select him. So let me go to shading and look for X-ray joints so that I can see my joints. This is my joint, so I can now scale this guy down. But let me go to this um, channel box and look for the scale. So I'll just press, uh, go to 20% of that, 0 0.2, um, and press the bar to go, or oh, go away. So um, let me deselect this. Uh, so this is the guy right here. So I need to take it down. So just press that and bring it down. Yes, I can see the, yeah. So this is my grid, bring it down. So go to this, um, this view right here and just bring it to the grid so it's good to go now so the, the next thing now so note these the texture is there so if i press the texture you can see this is the texture that we um, apply to it when we're um, generating this guy so that is the texture so um the next thing now is to <clears throat> assign all these bones to the hik like divide the bone to size i want to divide these bones um, to make uh, for animation for the purpose of uh, the animation so I'm just gonna go to Windows and look for um, animation editors and there I'm gonna see my H uh, human IK so um, don't create uh, skeleton we have the skeleton already don't create um, control rig because we'll be using um, motion capture data for um, uh, animation so I'm just gonna say create character definition because we want to define the bone so I press it so I have this guy so I'll be pressing these bones here assign it to the part of the bones that this guy is having right here so uh, let me do quick with this so I'm just gonna double click on this left arm double click so and come to this side this guy right here and just click it so you can see we are having the green that is good to go so i'm gonna double click this again and press that double click and press that so double click this one and press that so i'm just gonna um kind of um, almost good to go so don't um, worry about this yellow stuff that we have here it's just telling us that um, the harm of this character is not parallel so it's supposed to be at um, T shape that C, um, T stand shape so that is why it's telling me uh, this guy right here is telling me that this place are um, heroes so um, let me select the head double click on the head and just click this guy no that is not what I want to click so I want to select this guy so I will undo and double click on the head again and select this guy so I have the head and this is gonna be the neck so I'm just gonna go to the neck um, double click on that and select that so this is the spine so I'm just gonna uh, go and look for the spine and select that and I'm just gonna um, select it, select this guy. Yeah, select, double click on this, select this guy. Double click on this and select the other guy, the last guy there. Oops, I've made a mistake, so I'm just gonna double click again and click this guy. So um, now I'm gonna click, double click on this one and select this guy. So I think I'm good to go now. So uh, let me go back. So I have everything to accept this guy. This guy should be the first spine. Should be this guy. Yeah. Yeah, it, it should be that guy. So I'm going to double click on this one and select this guy. Yes, double click on this and select this guy. Yeah, double click on this and select the last guy here. 
so I think I'm good to go now so let me go back now um, the, the, the next thing now is about these um, yellow stuff that I have here it's just because um, they, this guy's arm is um, V shape instead of the T shape so I'm just gonna make it T so I think I'm still yet to go so I have some other things here the um, shoulder so I'm just gonna double click on these and select the first shoulder double click on this one select the second one and go to the next part double click on this and select this double click select now i'm good to go except this guy so all i need to do now is raise uh, the hands up so that is the next thing so as you're racing you need to be watching let me go to the front, uh, front um, view so as you are um, racing it up you need to be watching um need to be watching uh, this guy so the moment it's uh it gives you a grain so you're good to go then so let me go to the shading and select the x ray joint so that i can see what i'm doing clearly so and the next thing now is raise this guy up don't bother about the stretch here just raise it up raise it up you need to raise that guy up so i'm gonna go to the top view and press f so that I can see it clearly. Go to shading again. Select X-ray joint so that you can see what you're doing. So um, just stretch it. Yes, I'm good to go for the left side. You can see I have the full grain. So the next thing is to go to the right side again and select this guy right here and just bring it up. Select the next guy. Bring it up to like so, something like that. So let's go to top view and select this guy and just move it back we good to go we good to go can we select this and use try this that's too much still not good to go bring this back yeah i'm good to go i have the mark so i'm done the next thing now is to send this guy to motion builder so i'm just gonna stop the recording and come back later so See you.